Hi, it's been a minute since I filmed on this channel. You know why? Me either. Although it probably doesn't feel like all that long ago to you guys because actually I just uploaded them all separately, but you guys didn't seem to care for those videos that much. So you know what, I'm not gonna do them again. Um, especially since my last three videos were basically makeup focused. And I wonder if that's why you don't care for them as much or you guys can let me know, but your views let me know and your views tell me, don't waste your time, babe. And I, I, don't, I don't intend to. If you haven't had these, San Pellegrino Limonada. Brother, they are like sent from the heavens above. Oh my God. They are so good. They're just so giddy. You know what I mean? They really get you in your Googles. Last video I did like this, I just wanted to talk to you guys about how everyone felt dead inside post 2020. And you know what I don't anymore? Feel dead inside. Interrupting today's video to thank today's sponsor, which is HelloFresh. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while now, you'll see that HelloFresh is a frequent sponsor of mine, and that is because they are so awesome. If you guys don't know who they are, they're a meal delivery service. They deliver meals directly to your door each week. Each meal comes in an insulated box, and in that box are the meals that you have chosen. This week's meal was so yummy. This is exactly perfect to what I'm eating right now. I've been kind of doing more of like a gluten-free myself, and so this has been perfect for us. This was a delicious like chive Parmesan chicken with these amazing potatoes. I want to start cooking my potatoes this way all the time because they're so good. So whether you're trying to save money, eat better, or stress less, HelloFresh is here to help you do all three. You can say hello to fresh ingredients and chef crafted recipes at a price that you'll like delivered directly to your door. If you're looking to eat better, HelloFresh has over 30 wholesome calorie smart and protein smart options on the menu each week that make it easy to stay on top of your food goals. And each HelloFresh box is packed with farm fresh ingredients and everything arrives pre-portioned right to your doorstep for less hassle and less wasted food. Specifically lately, I've been having a really hard time coming up with meal ideas and things that are healthy and well-rounded for all of us as a family. So it's the perfect time for me to do HelloFresh. It always has been. I've always loved the service, been using it for like five plus years now and will continue to, it's so good. Mmm. Those potatoes are so good. If you guys are interested in checking out HelloFresh, right now you guys can go to hellofresh.com and use code RAWBEAUTYSWEET for free dessert for life. That's one dessert item per box while your subscription is active. That's code RAWBEAUTYSWEET at hellofresh.com for free dessert for life. And I thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring the beginning portion of today's video, for continuing to partner with me for years and years, and for making nutritious, delicious, wholesome, wonderful meals for my lovely little family. And let's get back into the video. There's been a really big mental shift in my mind. And I thought I would tell, talk to you guys about it because how I stopped feeling so dead inside, let's just be clear. The sunshine has a lot to do with it. I definitely get seasonal issues. I, I, I like the sun and when it's not here, my mood immediately dips. But my mindset, I had a really big mindset shift this year because uh, if you guys have watched any of my videos, you may have seen that in the beginning of this year, I was really going through some health stuff. And a lot of you guys know I have health anxiety. So naturally when I start to feel things that are like going on in my life or I'm not feeling very good physically, Mentally, I just go to kind of dip down. That's that's my MO, okay? I'm a worrier by nature. It was all getting worse because I was ruminating a lot. I was starting to just spiral down this really bad way, um, thinking of all these negative things, always negative, negative, negative. I talked to you guys about this recently. I have a video and the title was like, I'm too negative. And I noticed about myself, and now I've always known I'm a kind of a negative person. I, that's not something that is new. It's not like I just discovered that this year. I, I've always known this about myself. You guys are also really quick to let me know that. However, what I noticed is that if I replaced rumination and negativity with gratitude and positivity, thankfulness, holy shit do I feel better. I've probably been doing this for about, how long have I been trying to be more positive? Two months, probably two months. What a difference. It's not just about that, but I started realizing that negativity begets negativity. And if you start looking for negative, you'll find it. If you start looking for positive though, you might just find it. I'm sure you've heard the whole thing. Like, and look around the room right now and look for everything that's brown. Anything that you can find that's brown, anything in the world. And okay, so what did you see that was brown? Well, what did you see that was red? Well, you weren't looking for red, you were only looking for brown. So like if you're looking for bad things, you'll find more bad things. If you're looking for good things though, you're gonna find more good things. And what I noticed is that the more I started looking for good things recently, this is a not my normal, I started finding them. 
And I just realized that if I live with an attitude of gratitude as absolutely cringe as that sounds. I used to think that things like this was cringe too. I'd be like, oh my gosh, shut the hell up. Instead of looking towards like, why am I always sick? It's I'm getting the help that I need. I have family support. You don't tell yourself things that are fake. You tell yourself things that are true. You don't say, I'm a billionaire. You say things like, I'm working towards becoming more financially free. You know what I mean? Like the things that are true, like finding the positives or the neutrals in things, but just not the negatives. And I've just discovered that the more I do this, the more I do it. <laughs> and the more I am happier. I'm just a much happier person living in gratitude. It's not easy for me because I don't know why I'm such a negative ass bitch. I'm not gonna say that I'm perfect every single day. Oh my God, I was such a grumpy little baby the other day and I couldn't even pinpoint why. I couldn't even pinpoint it. I couldn't, I couldn't put my finger on why, but it didn't really matter why. I've also stopped trying to look for the why all the time because I'm such a natural why looker. Like, <laughs> That's what they call me. I always am like, if I'm in a bad mood, I'm like, why am I in a bad mood today? Why can't I just be happy? What's wrong with me? Why am I little? I always wanna find the reason why. And so often in looking for the reason why, it like, it doesn't matter. It just is like, some days you're just grumpy. Some days, like I used to have, I have this thing where if I get tired during the day, I don't know if any of you can relate to this at all. This is very uniquely me. But if I get tired during the day, I like cannot, accept it. I cannot accept tired. And I don't know why that is. It is one of the most bothersome feelings to me. Having a sunny, beautiful day or something like that and being like, I'm just so tired. Who cares why I'm tired? Let yourself be tired. Let yourself take a nap if you need to. Like sometimes people just get tired. Like, but I am always like, no, why am I tired? Why, why, why? Find the reason why, stop it. Drink more coffee, have more energy, wake up. And I think it's because I have a kid. Oops. It's because I'm a mom, so the feeling of being tired is a little like, it's kind of hard to deal with because when you have a kid, you can't just like sleep. You have to get your shit together and wake up. Now, I'm not as focused on finding the why. Why am I tired? Who cares, I'm tired. Like, maybe, maybe I didn't get enough sleep. Maybe it's a hormonal shift. Maybe my body's just tired. Maybe 50 other reasons. What does it matter? You're feeling tired, that's okay rest your body's telling you something take a rest like it's not that deep i'm naturally very hard on myself and that's another thing i'm trying to be less hard on myself and you know this year this challenge that i started in the beginning of this year has been about growth a lot of times like staying off my phone drinking more water eating better and exercising and developing better habits but i'm developing a lot better mindset in all of this that i feel like actually is helping me even more than those things. I don't know, having a better mindset makes me not worry so much. Although I definitely am like a, what's the word? Not a workaholic. I think most of you would probably be like, girl, there's no way. In some aspects of my life I am, like taking on too many things, but I like to be go, go, go. In fact, I gotta go sign for my taxes today. Every drink is as good as the last drink. If anything has ever pushed me towards growth, it is being a mom. And oh man, I'm just gonna say it and I don't believe in jinx. So I'm gonna quit saying things like knock on wood. The season of motherhood I am in right now, it's the best. I am literally obsessed with my son. I love him more than I've ever loved anyone in this entire world. He is like coming up on three and a half. Just the love of my life, the joy of my life, the sweetest boy of my life. He is just the kindest, most polite, sweetest, most wonderful, angelic, love angel baby. So sweet, such a big boy, such, oh my God, I cannot. I cry daily from how much I love this child. He is just perfection. And um, yeah, I'm just really loving this season of motherhood that I'm in right now and feeling like, I, I feel like this is a really good spot to notice the differences and changes, like so so much so that I feel like I'm gonna reduce my therapy to two days a month. And 
at my height of the worst of all of this, I was at three days a week. So I just feel like I'm in a really good spot right now. I'm making a lot of progress and things are going really well. We're involving ourselves in community, which has made a huge difference. So if you're really struggling, I cannot recommend getting into community enough, whether that be church, whether that be play groups, whether that be going to the library, whether that be a homeschool co-op or just like a play co-op or anything like that with your kids. If you don't have kids, go places where people are like-minded, go to the nursery, talk to people. Like getting out and not being trapped and cooped up inside of your home can do a world of difference for positivity, mental health, all those kinds of things. Um, I've also got invited to start doing an allotment garden with an absolutely incredible group of people who are like amazing gardeners. And um, I am very, very excited to start working on that. Um, we've already started working on it. We've already mapped it out. The posts have been dug and uh, we're gonna start building the fence here soon. And yeah, I'm just, so many good things are happening and I thought I would share that because um, I think a lot of the times it can kind of come off like I'm sort of just sharing the bad things, but there is so much good. Like my life right now is just divine and I love it so much. And um, yeah, I thought I would just come on here and say hello to you guys and talk about this kind of newfound positivity. It's not about being like toxically positive. Um, of course, there are still hard things, still bad things. Uh, we have a lot of conflict going on all the time. There always is but um, it's about having the proper perspective on it instead of being so woe is me, which I feel like I have kind of fallen into in past times. It's hard not to do when you're struggling. Um, but yeah, I'm in a really good spot right now where I can kind of tell myself the truths of things in a more positive way. Like things are good, like life is good. I am so blessed to be where I'm at. I have great family, I have great friends, building community. Um, I love helping people. There's just so many good things too point out. And uh, I gotta go pay my bills right now. Um, I know this was kind of a weird video, but I just wanna say hey to you guys and I feel like we're in a good spot and I'm excited about things. I've also been doing a ton of reels over on Instagram. So if you guys are interested in checking out kind of more short form content from me, I'm really liking them. It seems like people are too. I can't believe some of the responses that they've gotten. Like one of the videos is like 4 million views. Granted, it's of me skinning a pickle, but hey, you never know what's gonna take off. Yeah, I, uh, I've been really liking doing short form content. I really didn't think I would. I was so opposed to it for the longest time. And then I just started doing a little bit more of it and not overthinking it. And it's been so fun to do. So yeah, it, head over there if you guys are interested in checking out some of that. It's kind of more um, lighthearted, just little wanderings, ponderings. And also not even just that, I'm doing mini reviews over there for all the products that I have bought because of Instagram and I'm letting you know if they're worth your money and I'm doing them all individually in small little increments. So far I think I've done six or seven of them, I'm not sure. Um, but I have like a list of 50, which is sad because that means I've bought like 50 things because of Instagram ads and that's me. I am gullible. I am. I actually bought another one yesterday. Don't talk to me. All right, well I thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I need to go pay bills before we go sign for taxes. Yay, and uh, I thank you guys for hanging out with me and I will see you at my next video.